I look really good in this lighting. <laughs> Hi! Welcome to my YouTube channel. So obviously, I don't have an intro for this video. Why? Why do you ask? Because this is my first ever YouTube video for my YouTube channel crazy i know so a little bit about myself i am 20 years old i go to georgia's i go to georgia state university i'm majoring in business administration i love to do montages of everything that i'm doing i love fashion i actually made a new york one and it's gonna show up in three two one And if you follow me on Instagram, you get to see the whole clip. Interesting fact about myself, I am a model and a modeling instructor and I always love to post my runway skills and add a little bit of my fashion taste into that as well. I like to post a lot of traveling montages. For instance, recently I went to New York and everybody goes to New York. I went to New York plenty of times. I will try my best to be consistent on uploading every Wednesday for you guys and I want you guys to suggest whatever it is that you want to see from me like what's in my bag video oh my god I know as a YouTube watcher myself I I love watching what's in my bag videos I am a nosy person I want to see what's in other people's bags I know it's really creepy and really nosy of me but that's just how I am and that's what I like to watch if you guys have any requests for me to do a YouTube video of some sort I will gladly do them for you we all have different interests and I think it's really important for me to grant your wishes and do as you guys request but for my first YouTube video, I want to talk about my trip to New York City. Weeks before spring break, I told my mom that I wanted to go to New York and I wanted my mother to come with me because mother-daughter bonding, trips, adventures, we love it. She took a couple days off work and we just hopped along to our journey to New York. It was really fun. It was really fun. The trip was smooth. It was honestly, New York never disappoints me. It just doesn't. But this trip was, I, whenever I went to New York, I never had stories to tell from what happened over there because I was either by myself or I was underage and traveling with my mom and nothing really ever happened to us while we were in New York. But this trip, I don't know what went on. <laughs> we get off the plane. It's, I would say it's 9, 10 o'clock at night that we arrived in New York. I'm very good with directions when it comes to New York and I use iPhone GPS and that helps me to know where I am and where to go at all times. I was trying to help us find our way to the, to the airport. I almost said the airport. We got off the airport. We were trying to find our hotel. <laughs> so we took a transit and everything. We were sitting beside this man. My mother and I were just minding our own business. And out of nowhere, he comments or says something that was really weird. I didn't think much of it at first until he was looking at us while saying this. He just assumed that my mother and I were partners and we needed to... I'm trying to keep it PG, PG up here, but... He assumed we were partners and that we needed to learn a trick that was really sexual. Let's just say that. <laughs> and I didn't really think much of it at first because it, people in, certain people in New York are just crazy and everything. And I, I don't know. I didn't really think much of it. But, well, like, who isn't crazy nowadays? But... I just ignored it at first and uh, while he was saying his comment, I turned around and I realized he was looking at our direction, at us. And I was like, oh, you're talking. In my head, I was like, you're talking to us. And uh, my mother, when he finished, when he finished, my mother just laughed and I laughed because I was, for one, I was mostly creeped out and I was like, huh? 
I couldn't respond because I mean he got off at, he got off at his station where he was supposed to be and my mother and I were still on the train towards our hotel and it was it was a bizarre thing that ha happened to us and I turned to my mom she was still laughing I turned around I turned around towards my mom and asked her if she understood what he said and she was just like <laughs> no and I was like I was gonna tell her <laughs> but I ended up telling her what he said and that just made the whole situation even funnier for her she was like uh, men like that are crazy and they should be standing far distance from us and I was like of course of course it was a really funny yet creepy experience that we had but let me tell y'all it was our last day staying in the city when we found out how much uber cost from going to the airport to our first hotel that we were staying at we were like no we're gonna take a transit i made it clear my i told my mom i handled the directions you just follow me you don't have to worry about anything i will handle the stress of getting from one place to another so that's exactly what I did. My mom had the idea of staying at another hotel that was closer to the airport. And, uh, you know, I did my thing. I typed to where our hotel was in the GPS and I just followed the transit directions or whatever. We got on the train and then from there we got on a bus. And then uh, we got off at the, we got off at the bus stop that was near where our hotel was. It was between the that bus stop and our hotel was a four minute walk. So my mom and I got off at the stop, we were walking towards our hotel, and then out of nowhere, I heard my mom gasp. Like, <gasps> and I was like, what, what happened? And she was like, the camera. So a little bit of backstory, two, <laughs> two to three years ago, I got my mom this Canon camera for Christmas. It was something that I wanted to get her and I had a job back then, so I had enough money to get her what she wanted because she's been into, she's always wanted to get into photography. So uh, sh we brought that with us to New York. So fast forward to that situation where she gasped and I was like, what, you know? She said, the camera. And I looked down and I didn't see it around her, across her body. And I was like, no no this this can't this cannot be happening you know my mom left it at the bus my mom left it on the bus when i tell you guys my heart dropped it dropped i was i was mad M mixed emotions everywhere okay I was mad at my mom for uh, not keeping an eye out on the camera and I know it wasn't fully her fault because I should have been the one to look behind us and check to see if we had all of our stuff and if we didn't leave anything behind. And I was upset because I am a sentimental person. I value the littlest things in life and one of those littlest things are pictures memories so all the memories that were on that camera could have possibly been gone forever and that's what scared me the most honestly so i literally went fbi mode on this situation i went to my iphone i got on my phone i went to safari i looked at all the stops from that shuttle bus that we were on and luckily i remembered we immediately got on that Uber and went to the furthest bus stop to buy us some time until the bus actually showed up to that bus stop. And so we were waiting. The bus arrived and it wasn't the right one. And so we asked and they told us to call 511, which was the operator for the Metro shuttle bus. No help. Because I was stressed out. I was impatient. So I didn't want to wait on the line for too long. So I just downloaded the app. I looked at the next bus that was literally like 30 minutes away from our bus stop that we were, 
that we were waiting patiently at. And my mom just looked at me and she was like, if our camera is not on the bus, then we're just going to have to leave it. Unfortunately, it's sad to say, but we're going to have to leave it. I was like, no, there's no way. There's no way. And deep down, I kind of, I kind of had the feeling that we weren't going to find it. Deep down, I knew that there was no hope. There was no hope at all. Until the bus came around the corner and we waited. I stood up to ask the bus driver if he saw a camera of some sort or I was going to peek at the seat that we were sitting in to see if the camera was still there. As soon as the doors open, I didn't even have to ask. This man pulls out the camera bag. I was like, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Thank you so much. God bless you. You deserve the whole world. An angel was sent to us from above. <laughs> we, th we, thanked him. we thanked him a million. And after he left, uh, I just broke down crying because I had that feeling that I was, n we were never going to see that camera again. All the memories that were in there from our trip, not only that, but pictures from past events were on that camera. And I just thought we lost it for good, that we were never going to see it again. And <laughs> that relief, I still feel that relief. And I'm pretty sure you guys have too. Then after that, I just cried telling my mom, let's just go get a pizza and stay at the hotel for a couple of minutes before we leave. Because I was so stressed out that I was hungry of stress <laughs> from that stress. We calmed down. We had a good slice of pizza. We continued with our last day of our New York journey. So we only had two crazy stories that have happened to us during this New York trip. Like I said, we never had any stories to tell from our past New York trips, but this has got to be by far one of the most interesting ones yet. But that is all for today. I hope you guys had fun on my first YouTube video on my YouTube channel and I will see you guys on Wednesdays. Don't forget to subscribe. My Instagram is official Nicole Salas and my TikTok, my TikTok is Nicole Salas or official Nicole Salas. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week.